We have some sad news that just broke uh, just moments ago. Uh, John Paul Stevens, the third longest serving United States Supreme Court justice, has died tonight. Stevens joined the Supreme Court in 1975. He retired in 2010 when he was 90 years old. In that time, I was fortunate enough to meet him personally. My wife, Kate Shaw, clerked for him in the year of 2007. He was just an exceptional human being among everything else that he was exceptional about. He was appointed by the Republican President Gerald Ford. He often voted with the court's liberal wing. NBC News Justice correspondent Pete Williams looks back at his life and legacy. The Supreme Court's only Gerald Ford nominee, John Paul Stevens, arrived as a moderate conservative. I thank the president for his expression of confidence in me. Here's the nomination. But he quickly headed in his own direction, becoming an independent-minded justice and the court's most prolific dissenter. He insisted he never varied and said the court shifted around him. I really don't think I have changed, and I still consider myself quite conservative. At first skeptical of affirmative action in government contracting, he eventually supported it in college admissions. He voted with the court's liberals to restrict police powers, give prisoners greater rights, keep a high wall between church and state, and support the right to choose an abortion. And though he never voted to declare the death penalty unconstitutional, he became one of the court's most vocal skeptics about its fairness. The fact that most of the judges who preside and often make the final life or death decision must stand for re-election creates a subtle bias in favor of death. But Stevens sometimes voted with the conservatives. A decorated World War II Navy codebreaker, he dissented when the court struck down laws that would have banned flag burning. And he led a unanimous court in ruling that a president could face a civil lawsuit while in office, allowing a sexual harassment suit to proceed against President Clinton. Stevens underwent heart bypass surgery and treatment for prostate cancer, but maintained a vigorous life off the bench. He had four children and nine grandchildren and divided his time between Washington and a home in Florida, communicating with his law clerks electronically. It's enabled me to spend more time on the golf course. <laughs> He remained fiercely loyal to his native Chicago, even throwing out the first pitch at a Cubs game as an 85-year-old right-hander. At age 90, Justice Stevens retired in June of 2009 after 34 and a half years on the court. In 2012, Barack Obama presented him with the Presidential Medal of Freedom in recognition of his lasting effect on the law as the third longest serving justice in U.S. history. Pete Williams, NBC News at the Supreme Court. A few months ago, I was uh, fortunate enough uh, with my white cave to attend the 99th birthday party and clerkship reunion of John Paul Stevens down in Florida. And I can just say that um, it is a testament to the kind of man he was, both as a public figure and in private, the integrity and wisdom, kindness and grace with which he led his life. Uh, the people around him, you cannot find a single person who would say anything, but that he was one of the finest human beings that they ever had the pleasure of being around. Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens, the third longest serving justice, died tonight of complications following a stroke. He was 99 years old. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.